put an extra, uh, it's called a cat filter insulation kit right here. You just, uh, you just add it to your uh, lines. You can see right here, here's your two lines right here going into it and coming out. And uh, it comes with this uh, new fuel filter housing. I've had it on here uh, for uh, probably a year and a half now, something like that probably. And it's done real good. And you can use different filters on it. Um, I started using these Donaldson fuel filters. Um, it comes with a cat fuel filter and use them. The Donaldson uh, filter has a steel threaded insert instead of aluminum type uh, that's found on the uh, cat filter. That's why I changed uh, to this filter. And uh, it just gives you added protection. Uh, this you feel water separated right here. And like I said, you got one mounted on your engine up there, regular filter. And I change that filter out once a year. And uh, just because this filter here is going to be uh, catching all the extra. So it never really make, make it to that front filter. So you, uh, normally, you know, you would change that filter out, say 15,000 miles on the engine. But since this is done uh, picking up everything, uh, you don't have to worry about actually uh, changing that filter out about once every year. That They may, may say in the uh, uh, thing maybe every two years. But I, I do mine once a year on the engine. And uh, that's something if y'all interested in, you know, it's like, it's called a cat. Um, it's gonna be a cat filter kit. And they make different ones. But that's just a particular one I bought for my truck. And uh, I change these filters out every 15,000 miles. And uh, I have no, no trouble. And whenever I took the other filter out, uh, I changed it when I first got one mounted on my engine. Well, I changed out this uh, last time. Uh, well, I think I had uh, close to, I can't remember, maybe 50, 60,000 miles on it, maybe. Uh, the filter still looked real good, wasn't dirty or anything. So this uh, second auxiliary filter setup right here does a real good job. And uh, in the long run, it saves you money because you don't have to place some expensive filters. It's gonna cost you probably 50, $60 a piece for the uh, filters mounted on the engine. And uh, these here probably cost, you know, you'll probably pay between 12, $15 a filter for these and uh, so it's gonna be a good bit of money uh, you'll save over long term and these uh, filter kits I think I gave about $200 uh, for mine and right offhand uh, I can't tell you exactly uh, the uh, manufacturer where it came from but uh, I'll try to leave a link to that uh, where I actually bought this uh, filter kit if you're interested and like I said they got them for uh, the Ford and Chevrolet uh, diesel trucks too, and uh, does a real good job, y'all. Just want to let y'all uh, see what kind of setup I had here on my fuel system. All right, y'all, I'm fixing to take off this uh, fuel water separator on my 2017 Ram 3500 uh, diesel. And this is my auxiliary filter I put on there from a CAT system. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just take, uh, open this uh, drain valve right here on this fuel water separator and you wanna drain your fuel out. I just take a bottle and drain it off in there. And uh, what I'm looking for always, I'm always looking to see, you know, if it's got water in it or anything like that uh, when I'm draining it. So you just unscrew this. And after I get through draining that uh, fuel out of it, I'll go ahead and uh, take me an uh, oil wrench pliers and take both these filters loose.
All right, y'all, I'm taking this uh, field water separator sensor off, and I just got this little uh, wrench right here. You can use a crescent wrench or whatever, but it's made just for this. And uh, just get locked on here. Ooh, the camera kind of shaky there, y'all. Hard to do this trying to show y'all, but anyway, just uh, take it off and uh, you're going to install it, put the old ring on it, and install it in your new uh, filter there. All right, y'all, I'm just spinning this back up here and I'm just going to tighten it with my hand. <sighs> then I've got this uh, connector right there. I'm just going to plug it up right here. And that's all it is, y'all. Just uh, put your O-ring around this uh, sensor. Tighten it back up. Just snug it up. And you'll have your new O-ring up at the top there. And you'll make sure that your old O-ring comes off. Just like an oil filter. Make sure it comes off and not, you know, it's not stayed up here. It's not up here on your mating surface of your... Uh, housing there because you don't want to double gasket your uh, filter there and i'm finna get ready to put my other uh filter on another thing y'all i want to mention this is very important um i always take a like lint free blue uh shop towel and i clean right in here real good in these threads before i put any kind of oil or anything on this because sometimes you may have like a little burr or metal or something in here this or some kind of debris that can mess your threads up and uh, that housing up there is aluminum on that uh, secondary fuel filter housing and uh, so I will clean that real good and what I use I use the Lucas uh, fuel injection cleaner to put on my gas it's kind of real thick like oil so I just use that always and, and I put some in here on this metal threads put before I put my filter on there but you can use oil you know but I just I use that Lucas because I have it but I just want to let y'all know that uh, might help you out sometime. Now, I did put the uh, Lucas uh, injection cleaner or oil on your uh, rubber gasket and threads on that uh, water fuel separator too. So, make, just like you do a regular oil filter. So, uh, that's it, y'all. Just wanted to show you how quick and easy that was. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day, friends. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.